Malawi has recorded more than 13,000 coronavirus infections since the first case was identified there nine months ago. While the number may be far lower than many other countries, more than half of all cases have been detected this month alone, prompting the government to tighten restrictions. Markets must close no later than 5 p.m. And all merchants and customers must wear a mask at all times. All buildings used by the public, whether for business or private service, must be disinfected no less than once a week and must be fitted with hand washing facilities at the entrance and exits. A nighttime curfew has been imposed and schools have been closed. Malawi has recorded more than 300 deaths related to COVID-19. With a third of those recorded this month alone, there are concerns that already limited health facilities may be overwhelmed. And now a new, more contagious variant of the virus found in South Africa is adding to worries that returning migrant workers may contribute to the spread in Malawi. Patients in Bewe is one of tens of thousands of Malawians who work in South Africa because of the poor economy at home. But she returned to Blantyre after COVID-19 restrictions in South Africa made it difficult to find work. There's a lot of challenges coming back here, coming to Malawi, uh, because of you need to get tested first before you leave uh, South Africa. And you need to have a uh, COVID test, negative test for, for, for 14 days. The government has spent the equivalent of $8 million to fight the virus. Some of that money has been used to quarantine, screen, monitor and transport almost 20,000 Malawians returning to the country. Some of those returning were quarantined in a prison building, which was later looted and vandalized when the release of some people was delayed. When we arrived here, they tested us and promised to give us results the next morning by 9 o'clock. We patiently waited for our results after 9 o'clock and looking at how tired we were and the unexplained delays, people with some ringleaders started vandalizing this. The death of two government ministers and two senior political figures from COVID-19 led the government to declare a state of emergency. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera.